Arsenal continue to endure their worst start to a Premier League season since Arsene Wenger took charge. They've won just once in their last six top flight matches and the surprise home defeat to Swansea had taken the pressure on the Frenchman to a new level. He shrugged off talk of a crisis at the Emirates, knowing a few wins would get many of the wavering fans back on side. If only Jovino could have taken the chance to give the Gunners the perfect start. West Bromwich Albion breathing a big sigh of relief. But their luck ran out when Santi Cazorla broke into the box. The Spaniards lit up the Premier League with some magical moments this season. This wasn't one of them. Hard to understand why he was holding his leg. Stephen Reid appeared to make very little contact, if any at all. Mikel Arteta showed no mercy. Having missed a penalty in the last minute, which would have won the game against Fulham, no surprise perhaps that he opted for the safe route, straight down the centre. After their terrific start to the campaign, West Brom are faltering. This a test of character now following two straight defeats. Jack Wilshire just inches from leaving them with even more of an uphill struggle. Albion had more cause to be unhappy with referee Mike Jones soon after. While they wanted a penalty for Per Mertesacker's handball, the official gave Arsenal a free kick. It was hard to see why. At the other end, another opportunity for Juvenio. Boaz Myhill down sharply to make sure the Baggies were still in contention when they went to the dressing room to hear how Steve Clark planned to turn things around. Arsenal wouldn't feel safe until they had a two-goal cushion, and Myhill's miss kick had the Gunners on the attack after the break. West Brom getting themselves in a real mess at the back before the ball broke once more for Jovino. The Ivorian wasn't covering himself in glory. Now, controversy number two. The Baggies felt Goran Popoff was bundled over by Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. They could have no complaints, though, about the penalty decision. Definite contact as Chris Brunt lunged in. That was the push on Popoff, which incensed Clark and his players before the foul that left Arteta with the tricky prospect of a second penalty in one match. Myhill lost the mind games. The midfielder choosing the same placement, albeit with a bit more power. Arsenal were largely cruising after that, though with time running out for an Albion comeback, Brunt's free kick caused problems. Romelu Lukaku couldn't believe he'd missed from there. By the end, Lucas Podolski knew the feeling. Jack Wilshire could hardly have made it easier for the German to add a third. Somehow he managed to blow his big moments. Not that Wenger minded too much, with victory already in the bag. Very important to win for us today because we were a bit back to the wall. We couldn't afford to drop any points, and it's never easy to play when you have absolutely to win. Do you feel you got lucky with the, the first penalty decision? A little bit, maybe, yes. Casual uh, told me has been touched. Was it penalty or not? Maybe we're a bit lucky on, on, on this decision. Just finally, Thierry Henry here again today. Any further thoughts on whether he'll be wearing an Arsenal shirt on that pitch again? No. We'll look at that. <laughs>